The first step in voicing is really to make something consistent. We call in French harmonisation. It's to harmonize things together. We're doing what's called the voicing of the organ and also the tuning. There are 1,400 pipes in each one of those. We need to go through one by one, make sure that it's loud enough or soft enough, bright enough or warm enough sound. And we also need to make sure that it attacks properly. In organ building, there's a lot of physics, there's a lot of chemistry, of wood understanding, you know, architectural details. You need to know a lot of things. And also in music, you, you have to know music. Each pipe has a different set of parameters that we can manipulate to control different aspects of how it sounds. Pitch, so they'll have some way to tune the pipes the timbre, the tone color of the pipe. So that's often dictated by how high the mouth of the pipe is, how fast the pipe speaks or how slow the pipe speaks, and also how loud the pipe is. So we need to control all of those parameters to make sure that each of the pipes sounds like its neighbor, sounds like the, the way we want it to sound, and sounds right in this church. So there is many, many rows of pipes with different shapes, different diameters, different alloys. Uh, some of them are made of wood, some others are made of metal. There are so many different aspects of science involved. There's acoustics, lots of air column theory, but also with the mechanical action, the mechanical linkages between the keys of the keyboard and the valves under the pipes. You've got kinematics, and you've got some fluid dynamics with the airflow through the wind system of the organ. When you put the pipes in and you finish the instrument when you voice it, then it reacts with the building. It's not anymore just an industrial product. It will become a musical instrument and a work of art. Thank you.